So the Red Wing Iron Ranger 8111 in amber harness leather. This one has about nine months of wear on it. It's brushed off pretty often, but not like crazy vigorously, because I want to keep a bit of mat to it. Um, it's been conditioned once with Red Wings leather cream, which honestly, in my opinion, is the best for Red Wings oiled leathers. Even other oiled leathers, it's actually a pretty good conditioner. You can use it on Chrome Excel if you want. It's the Neat's Foot one. You can see it's picking up some nice patina. That scratch just appeared. You know, they come and go. What happens is you'll get a series of scratches, like if you look at the heel. See how the heel is starting to lighten up a bit? So, you'll get some areas lightening, some areas darkening. I notice on a lot of Iron Rangers, you'll get a bit of a crease here. And it's just the way the last is shaped, the way your foot fills the volume of the inside, I realize that the better the boot fits, especially with an Iron Ranger, the better the boot fits, the better its wear patterns are going to be, you know? So, with the Iron Ranger, it's, you know, it's pretty simple to size with these. I don't know why people have so much difficulty. Everyone, oh, we're half size down, half snow. That's not it. On, a, on an Iron Ranger, Typically, you want to go full size down from your Brannock on a, on a Heritage Red Wing. Typically, that's what you want to do. Oh, look at that. we got a Caterpillar. So, I'm a 10E Brannock. Um, kind of 10E, double E sometimes, depends. Um, and I wear a 9 double E in a Red Wing. And this boot fits excellent. You know, the brake falls right in the right place. You know. It's, it's relatively comfortable. So, and it's been patinaing pretty nice. If you look at the tongue right here, it's been picking up some indigo on the raw edge on the inside. Same thing around the collar, it's darkening a bit from the contact of my jeans. It's the tongue is actually, let's see, nice. Nice darkening going on there, you know. And eventually more of the boot will start to look like that. I'm trying to patina my boots slowly like this. You can pick a patina quickly, sure. Like, you know, patina Thunderdome style, you know, beat them down, wear them every single day for six months. Or you can put them into a rotation and wear them slowly over a long period of time. And there's something about the way patina develops long term. You know, it's just more refined and especially like a well taken care of pair of boots. Like it's just unparalleled. And that's what I'm gonna go for with these. Now it's hard to tell in the video, but when you see these in person and they have this nice like luster, but this like depth to the color, especially in the toe cap. You know, you'd have to see it in person, but it is very nice. And it's noticeable. I once had someone tell me that they looked expensive. I was like, really? I'm like, yeah, so, okay. That's not what I would expect. It'd be like rugged or, you know. I'll do that sometimes, though. It's interesting to see what people's responses are. I'll ask them, what do you think when you see these boots? What comes to mind? And it's, it's funny what people will say, you know? But I've never gotten clown shoe with these. More so combat boot. If you size them correctly, they won't look like clown shoes. I mean, it also depends on your size of foot. These look funny and stubby on camera, but in person, dude, these are like the perfect size Iron Ranger. They look awesome. They do. The proportioning is excellent. I really lucked out with these. I was able to buy them in person. 
at a local shoe store that sells Red Wings and even sell Red Wings seconds, which is surprising. I picked up a pair of 875s. The only ones in my size, I got those in seconds and they're fine. There's no noticeable difference. You know, it's cool to be able to buy seconds in person. But, you know. Two pairs of Red Wing Heritage is enough for me. I got the 875s and I got these. I like to have a variety of brands and designs. I prefer the service boot, but, you know, I deviate from that pattern sometimes. Look at that heel counter. It's nice. And Red Wings QC is excellent. If you look at the stitching, like yeah, maybe the density is not that high, but the rows are all perfectly even. Perfect. And with a lot of boot companies, you won't get that. You know? Like for the most part, yeah, but depends like these rows are way more even than my next boots i'll tell you that but obviously you know these pale in comparison in other ways but the iron ranger plays its position you know it's a good rugged boot that's not like overwhelming it's easy to wear especially once you break it in it's you're not like gonna notice you're wearing boots you know you'll be comfortable Looks like there's watermarks on them. But I looked out on the leather too. On both of my boots, on the quarters, the rolls are nice and consistent. Like there's not a lot of um, harsh grain breaks or anything like that. All the breaks are really soft and fine on both the boots, which is nice. I mean, you see these? And in person, it's like, it's not really like nothing. These are those very fine hairline, you know, little fissions. But you can see the outline of my ankle bone and the neat rolls around it. If you look at the break at the vamp, it's the same thing. Yeah, that's the one advantage that Red Wing has with SB Foot. You know, they own the leather company, so the QC process is really direct, and they know exactly what they want, exactly what they need, and they produce it. So, even though I own more expensive boots and whatever, these, the Red Wings are, are awesome, dude, they're cool. I don't care if you wear John Lofgren's and clinch boots or what, dude, you can't knock a Red Wing. It's just a well-made heritage boot. There's no BS, no synthetic nonsense. It's all heritage materials. Like, yeah, they use leather board in the counter, all right, yeah, leather board on the Rand, like, okay. Like, it could be leather, sure, but dude, it's not the end of the world. You're never going to notice, you're never going to get into your Red Wings and be like, hmm, it feels like a leather board. No, dude. And honestly, it wears pretty well. The leather, the rand on this, I mean, obviously you don't notice it very much. It's really slim, which I like. They keep the heel really slim on these. Um, it has a little bit of finish on it, and it looks nice. You know? You wouldn't know it was leather board unless someone told you it was leather board. The insole is, a, is obviously official. You know, Red Wing Heritage insole. Big slab of veg tan with a little chrome tan patch. Cover up the nails right there. You know, the vamp is lined in canvas, which I know some people are uh, a little iffy about, but it's just the way this boot is made. And it's a really rough canvas. You know, it's tough stuff. It's not, it's not going anywhere. I don't think I'm ever gonna have to worry about the vamp lining. I love the online quarters. I prefer that on boots. 
Really, that is my preferred construction. It's a 270 with online quarters. And this is one of them. I always thought it'd be awesome if they made this exact boot plain toe. Maybe with two speed hooks or just all eyelets and called it uh, the Iron Smith or something. You know, because they have, yeah, there's a blacksmith that's a plain toe, but the quarters and the backstay is a different setup on the blacksmith. It's more similar to like the 875, you know? It doesn't have this one piece, and I love this backstay. It's really solid, you know, that one solid strip of leather with the triple Puritan stitch around it. Dude, it's like a really solid backstay, right? So if you look at like the 875, the Beckman, the Blacksmith, they don't have this type of counter. Yeah, they have a solid leather heel counter, but they have the back strip. So... They have that offering, Red Wing, sure, but to have this same setup, this backstay, these quarters with the same slant top, same everything, plain toe. That would be incredible. People would buy it. We would love it. If they, they just two offerings would be fine. Just the Amber Harness, Black Klondike. Imagine that. Imagine this plain toe, Black Klondike. That would be a cool T-Core boot. And they could charge $400 for it and people would, people would pay more money for that than they would the, the Iron Ranger. But, I mean, honestly, they charge the same amount of money. And it's easily something they can do. I don't understand why a lot of these boot companies, I mean, I guess, you know, it takes money and there's possibility of failure. You know, but I would love to see some of them do different things. There's a lot of, like, spots in the market that aren't being filled you know anyway iron ranger i mean you could ask me stuff in the in the comments dude you know i know a lot about boots i know a lot about this boot so if there's something you want to know about the iron ranger odds are i know it so you can ask me if you guys want to chop it up in the comments cool I'm down for that. This is my first YouTube video. I'm not putting a lot of effort into it. I'm kind of just chilling. It's just a bummy weekend morning at my house. And I was like, you know what? Let me just do a review. Why not? So here it is. Iron Ranger 8111 Amber Harness. Uh, is there anything in particular I want to mention? I don't know. I mean, I've heard people say, oh, the speed hooks are just, they're dinky. And they, I do it, what? These speed hooks are solid dude these are really good speed hooks like i've had a lot of boots with speed hooks and like compare this to something i like people know like the uh thursday captain these speed hooks are way more solid than the captains they don't bend they're well seated they're really sturdy the laces fall into them perfectly and by the way, Red Wings uses good, good laces. These are good laces, I'm not going to lie. At first, I was like, eh, a little dinky, and they're kind of stiff. But as they break in, they're just good, hardy laces. You, know, you can tell they're going to last a while. So, well-made boot, you know, gusted tongue. Not gusted all the way up, but it's really comfortable. Nickel eyelets. Quadruple stitching along the toe cap actual real toe cap um, I don't know man what else is there to say anyway thanks for watching